After three short weekend flights, we got a tantalizing taste of the Halo Infinite multiplayer, and it was pretty, 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 pretty good. With a new Halo game on the horizon, so too comes new medals, earnable badges awarded in-game. In a way, they are just cosmetic proofs of valor. But I do think they're pretty cool, and this video will be going over some new and returning medals in Halo Infinite. Mind the gap. Using the repulsor, blast an enemy off the map. Nearing victory. Mind the gap. Pancake. You get this medal if you kill an enemy by flattening them with the repulsor. Pancake. That's what it's gonna make bacon pancake. Boom block. Block an incoming projectile by deploying a drop wall. I don't know, given how slow and awkward this thing is to use, I, I don't see this as being a an intentional metal. It's most likely going to be an accidental metal. Uh, uh, grapple Jack. Jack an enemy vehicle by grappling to them. Gotcha, bitch! So basically you just hook shot to an enemy, and it's the single coolest and most frustrating thing in the world, just depending if you're driving or not. We shall see where the community lands on this. If you're in the vehicle, while it's being jacked, I have an idea of how you're going to feel. So, pretty cool, pretty cheap, pretty awesome. Return to Sender. You get this by killing an enemy by deflecting their projectile. Oh shit! Return to Sender! Chain Reaction. Kill an enemy with a shock chain. This is actual footage of what it looks like in game. Interlinked. Kobe. Given to those who kill four or more enemies with a single shock chain. A returning medal, Combat Evolved, was introduced in Halo 5. This is where you use a plasma grenade and blast a weapon towards you, catching it. Combat evolved. Be careful though, this might require some precision. Otherwise, you'll blast it off the Quickly. In Destiny, you can get a collateral, which is basically a two for one snipe. I'm pretty sure it's called collateral in every other game too, but uh, for some reason in Halo Infinite, they called it Quigley. I don't really understand why they called it that, nor do I understand the whole idea of trying to change names. Collateral's good name for two for one snipe. Just, just do that. I know this. Guys, I think I found out the origin of Quigley. It's a 1990s movie. It's called Quigley. Down under. This has to be it, right? Grand Slam. Kill two enemies with a single gravity hammer swing. Grand Slam. Two in the box. Ready to go. We be fast and they be slow. Kong. Killing enemy by throwing a fusion coil. That's right, in Halo Infinite, you can throw the fusion coils. This is an awesome addition to the Halo sandbox. Where's my money, bitch? Burning down. Let's talk about the consecutive kill medals, like double kill and triple kill. Halo 4 and Halo 5 had a pretty uniform design, especially when it came to color. I like that the color progression happened from blue all the way to red. However, in Halo Infinite, they've kind of changed this a little bit. And, well, not for the better. You'll get a blue double kill, a purple triple kill, and then a red overkill. But then everything after that is also just red. It doesn't really make sense why even have the triple and double be a different color, and I don't really understand that. In addition to that, they dropped the stars combination after Kiltrocity, and now it's just some kind of strange symbol. You know, at least the medals are still called the same thing. Uh, Kilimanjaro is still 7 kills, Killionaire is still 10 kills. It's, it's actually not that big of a deal, I mean, it's just a cosmetic problem, I think. 
Look, here's the deal. It's not like I'm getting a bunch of killing errors anyway, so it's fine. New kill leader appointed. So let's talk about Spree Metal. And Halo Infinite, they made some pretty significant changes here. After Rampage, they took out stuff like Untouchable, Invincible, Inconceivable, and Unfreaking Believable. Those medals are now gone. In fact, changed them to Nightmare, Boogeyman, Grim Reaper, and Demon. These medals still stand for the same thing, you know, like 25 kills, 30 kills, but now they called them something different. Not a lot of people are going to see these medals in multiplayer anyway, so it's probably not that big of a deal. But at the same time, I'm not exactly sure why they chose to change these. So let's talk about weapon metal sprees. Back in old Halo games like Halo Reach, you can get consecutive sprees with a certain type of weapon. You would get a shotgun spree with just 5 kills with a shotgun, Shotguns. but if you got 10 kills with a shotgun, it would be open season, and then buck wild for 15. Those kind of metals have been removed and simplified in Halo Infinite. What I think's even crazier is there's no longer like a sword spree. All of the melee weapons have just been combined into one metal called Warrior. I... I don't like that either, like I don't really understand that. It's kind of unfortunate that they took those out, or at least just didn't bring them back. There's a metal called Driver, you know, kill five enemies with a ground vehicle. And that's it, like there's no more after that. And again, unlike Reach where it was Splatter Spree, Vehicular Manslaughter, and then Sunday Driver, that's, like, that's fun. I kind of feel like Halo is missing a little bit of fun. Those kind of medals are pinnacle Halo for me, and I would love to see them return. Here we go! Get over here! At the end of any Halo game, I love to go back and check the post carnage report to see what medals I got. And overall, I think the new medals in Halo Infinite are pretty good. So yeah, there's, there's many other medals in Halo Infinite that I didn't go over. The various objective medals, there's Backsmack, other medals like Fastball, From the Grave, Hail Mary, Last Shot, Ninja. I can feel that in my bones! Of course, this was just the Halo Infinite flight, and all of this is subject to change. Obviously, this wasn't a comprehensive list, just a few that I thought were pretty interesting. Are there any particular medals you had hoped to see in Halo Infinite? Or perhaps you thought of your own medals? The Halo Frontier thanks you for watching, and until next time, I'll see you on the Frontier.